All right, we are back. Next on the stream, we've got Brett Stottlemyre and Kia Burwell. This is a uh, money match. The winner of this is going to go on into our semifinals. Since this is a quarterfinal, <coughs> loser of this match <coughs> is going to go home with $200. race to a hundred. Brett is the owner of our high run for the day, or for the weekend at 45, though we may see a higher run than that here. Kia on the table right now. Kia is a WPBA pro, sponsored by In The Zone. And I think she's a member of that Team Straight Pool Eye. Also, she is a McDermott pro. So he has been on the scene for quite some time, winning a lot of our ladies' tournaments, the J.P. Newt and otherwise. She played at the pro event at the Super Billiards Expo and placed in the 9th through 12th category, getting a nice payday out of that one. And she's been posting plenty of videos of herself playing straight pool, so I expect some very nice strategy play. And very aggressive. He has got a great stroke. This is, of course, our DMV Pool Championship Series first event. Our first annual DMV Straight Pool Championship. Thirteen events this year. This is the first. Great opportunity for a lot of our mid-tier pros to get non-handicapped tournament play, preparing them for the higher level tournaments like the U.S. Open, the International Open, American Straight Pool Championships, and World Pool Championships if they can get themselves qualified. Nice touchy shot there. If you'd like to see all of our DMV Pool Championship Series events, they are posted on our DMV Pool Championships group in Facebook, on Facebook, along with the Street Life Billiards Academy page. If you haven't, go ahead and give that Street Life Billiards Academy page a like and follow. You're going to get a lot of great content, not just our DMV Pool Championship Series, but our in-house tournaments, money matches, exhibitions with pros, and we also will be sharing the Legends of Pocket Billiards endeavors to get more high runs from these top pros. You know, Jason Shaw sent that 714 earlier this year at our academy, and I hear he wants some more. Seven just wasn't enough. Nice open rack for her here. She can start to think about what ball she wants to be her breakout ball, though. 12 and 14 are both nice. The 8 also isn't bad, nor is the 15. So she's got lots of options. It's just a matter of which one plays out. That was a nice touch on the 7.
got our other quarterfinal matches started. Yao Lu versus Mike Davis, Jr. And Andy Lincoln is playing Steve Fleming. We'll give you score updates on those when they come around. <laughs> 